The reason why we decided to perform as a family is because we love dancing together. That's a good one. We've had a lot of different reactions from people coming in and seeing a pole. We're going to flex and then point. We've had an exterminator come over and he's like, uh, what's that for? Is it just holding up the ceiling? I'm like, no, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an exercise pole, you know, it's a dance pole. He's like, does your wife dance? He's like, well, we all dance. And that's kind of like where you get them. They're just like, yeah, oh. that's the point. That's the <laughs> point know? where they become intrigued. Well, my background is in dance. I got my degree in dance. I started pole dancing because I was going through a divorce and I really needed something to, you know, spark my creative, artistic nature. So I went to a club and I saw a dancer on stage and I said, I really want to try this. I was a former gymnast. I had been in theater, so I was always acting. I was always performing. I started pole dancing when I was around 21, 22 years old uh, as an exotic dancer. That's as yeah. as I can get. To sit here. She came along and showed me up a lot. And then I had to start, <laughs> I had to start bringing my game up, you know, so. <laughs> He's like, no way. No, I think, I think you should just take a break. I haven't done a single trick to you yet. No, it's not whatever. First, we didn't pole dance together. And after we had our first child together, our daughter, Laura, we bought a pole and I started teaching classes. And that's when I really started discovering my love for competitive pole dancing and for just performing on the pole outside of a club. We've done performances where we're, we're both on the pole. Um, we'll do doubles. It was really refreshing and being able to do it with a partner and then adding our kids into the aspect was amazing. I was pole dancing when I was pregnant with both of the girls. And I think that when they were born, they felt that they were already a part of that art. parents, you're scared at first, but at the same time, you know, you're there, you're right there. You know, you're really proud of them because they're doing these things that most of the time you see adults having trouble doing. It's really cool, you know, to see your kids take after you when you really don't even, you know, you really don't even push them, push them you know. Uh, I would like for you to meet Rosalind. She is our three-year-old who pole dances, and she's also our little ginger daredevil. We pole dance every day, if not more. So I, I dance at work, obviously, and then the kids dance when I'm not here, and they also dance when I'm here. Hey, do you pick out your costumes? I pole dance almost all the time. Basically, whenever I get home, sometimes I just jump onto the pole, do a few tricks, jump off, do my normal thing. I actually do want to compete in pole dancing whenever I'm older, so that way it can be like a family tradition to compete. We feel that pole dancing is a sport for kids as well as adults because it's very dance heavy and it's also very gymnastics heavy. So again, we're at be strong, you have to be graceful. I think that the benefits for kids in pole dance is that it builds discipline, but it also builds, uh, you know, interest in more than one art form at a time. Ten years ago, you would say, okay, pole dancing is stripping. And now pole dancing is anything you want it to be. It could be, it could be stripping, it could be burlesque, it could be sport. I mean, they have 
competitions all over the world. They have conventions. We have dealt with a lot. So many. Of negative comments. <laughs> so many, I mean, I can't even count. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands. You can't save or explain to everybody that this is, this is legitimate, like it's a legitimate sport. And a lot of people, you just can't change their opinion. Yeah, I mean, we heard some pretty horrific things. Uh, you know, they were gonna hunt us down, and kill yeah, us, and, and kill take us. our children. We were teaching our children how to be little sluts. I mean, like, it was pretty bad. Dancing on stage and doing splits. Hooray, because you guys did such a good job. We're so proud of you. High five. High five. I actually pity them. It's becoming an More epidemic. than I pity anybody that has to deal with it. it. I don't think that they have enough time on their hands to actually enjoy their own life. So mm -hmm. we enjoy ours. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> We're living our most authentic life. Sometimes people just don't like that. They just want you to be like everybody else. I actually don't have any concern with my children participating in pole dance. Stripping is becoming somewhat obsolete. Clubs are getting less busy, they're dying down. Pole dancing is taking a new route. It's evolving into a sport and into an art. The naysayers and like the haters and everybody like that just makes us as parents more protective of them. Where we see our kids in the future with pole dance, I just want them to enjoy the art. They're going to do whatever they decide to become with passion.